Hey, what's up, YouTube? This this is David Gone 100. Today, I just want to show you how to get a um Nintendo 64 emulator on your PSP. And I'll tell you, this emulator does not run at 100 percent. It is very laggy. Um, on some games, some games actually run pretty decent though. And well, let's get down to the installation now. First off, we're gonna want to go to this first link in the in the description and you'll see all these different versions they have they do up this update this pretty often and these aren't the latest ones but if you want to see the latest ones just go to the top and click here and these are the latest ones alright so just download the latest one whatever we're just going to go ahead and download this to the desktop and it's only 1.69 megabytes so it should download pretty quick and once you do that you have it you're going to open it and drag the dataless x64 folder out okay and now you're going to want to go and put your PSP in USB mode now and you're going to want to drag this folder into the game folder of your memory card okay now that we got the emulator installed now we need games now I know I normally use dope ROMs but um, lately dope ROMs have been acting kinda stupid so just use cool ROM I'll have a link to dope ROM as well you know in case they fix their site sometime but as of the moment right now um dope roms is not working it doesn't let you download the games or anything they're i think they're updating the site or something but whatever so for this i'll show you super mario 64 a very good classic game for the psp and on this site you do have to wait around 15 seconds for your download there we go just click download ok and we're gonna download this to the desktop again the download is a little slower than dope ROMs but whatever we'll just take what we can get for now okay so it's done and it's gonna be another zip file it's right here so you're going to right click extract here and then we get this ignore the readme file that's just, that'll just take you to their site we, we want the z64 file oh I clicked on it okay well first of all on the emulator you're gonna go into it go into ROMs and you're gonna drop all the games that you download into here there you go copy it over it's 8 megabyte game okay now let's head over to the PSP so I can show you it okay so we're at the PSP now and um, I'll show you the emulator and that's it now this emulator this one right here it does not have a custom eboot that's just the default one but I have the latest version as well with the custom eboot that I made and I'll show you it this is um this one right here is my custom eboot and if you guys want this one instead of the other one I will be more than likely to upload it and if so you guys can choose if you just want the default one or if you want this one the one I made 
you know, just choose whichever one you want. But for now, I just show you um this one. Okay, so this is how it starts up. And some of the earlier versions are a little bit more stylish, like color. But these, that's just how they are. And if you hold down square, um, it'll show you some settings that it would recommend. Like, I'll show you how to get Super Mario 64 running good. Go to Edit Preferences, Frame Skip 2, Limit Frame Skip Yes, Audio Synchronous. And just click start emulation after that. Oh, I think the remote joy froze up, but um, on my PSP it's actually doing something. There it goes. Okay, it only does that the first time because it's trying to configure the ROM. But once it runs the game for the first time... It'll write something into the, um, it writes a catch file into the game. And, um, and it will help it load faster. Well, anyway, this is a game. It actually runs better than what it looks like. It's just that because I'm using Remote Joy, it uses some of my PSP's memory to transfer the image onto the computer. But it actually does run pretty decent. For this game anyways. I've tried Ocarina of Time and I've never got it running like good. I've got it running to where it's playable but without sound or anything. So I really don't play it. If you want to play Ocarina of Time just get it for the computer. Um, That's about all I can say. Yeah well okay. Oh yeah, this is the, um, emulator. I'll just go ahead and exit out. Um. Alright, well, thank you for watching, and please comment, rate, and subscribe.